Just what, what, what was the... I mean, in the end, what, what decided this game in your mind? Uh, well, you know, I mean, you're going to play these games. Uh, this year's going to be an interesting year. You know, you're playing 10 SEC games. This was a game that gets added on. You know, you're playing a top 10 team on the road in conference. Um, Always going to be a tough challenge. Uh, you expect that. It's going to come down to like a one-possession game. So uh, we're expecting to come right down to the end. That's why we kind of we, we were able to pick the direction. We didn't get the ball in the second half to start. We picked the direction. So, you know, we felt comfortable kicking that field goal right there. We got the ball with four minutes to go. We were probably 10 yards away from being in field goal range to kind of run out the clock and kick the game-winning field goal. Unfortunately, we turn it over, and you know, you know, they they had to go a lot further to get into that range, and we weren't able to make the stop, and they, they were able to kick the field goal there at the end. So, you know, it's going to be a unique year for us. It's going to be really interesting. Um, but uh, really good team. Give them a lot of credit. Tough football team. Uh, they made a lot of plays today. They got a lot of experience. A lot of explosive players on their team. Uh, played hard. They made a lot of plays. They needed to. Uh, made one more, I guess, than we did. Uh, it was a great day of football. Great atmosphere out there. Uh, crowd was certainly a factor in the game. I will certainly say that. I know our governor passed that rule, so certainly, hopefully, the university administration decides to let us pack the swamp for LSU next week. 100% because that crowd was a major factor in the game. And so I certainly hope our university administration follows the governor. Our governor has passed a rule that we're allowed to pack the swamp. We have 90,000 in the swamp to give us that home field advantage that Texas A&M had today. You're still on mute, Edgar. Yeah, somebody must have put me on mute. Um, how do you put, how do you pinpoint the problems on defense? What, what would you point to? Is it just everything? Is it? Yeah, we're, we're going to have to reevaluate a lot of things defensively where we're at right now. I, I'm going to have to really evaluate some things with our personnel, where we're at, uh, our ability to make plays, making sure we have all the right guys at the right position uh, to put ourselves in, a, in to get to, to be able to make the plays we need to to get off the field. Uh, we can't give up 13 of 15 conversions on the day and, and expect to win any games. Thank you, Dan. Uh, yeah, 32 first downs too, Dan, you guys gave up. But there's no – it's not like you got a bunch of guys you can bring in to, to physically bolster that defensive line. And obviously when they decided to run the ball there in the second half, it, it felt like you could not – do anything to stop it? Yeah, we got we got well. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. You know, hopefully we get some some depth back, and with uh, you know, hopefully Chris Bogle and uh, Kyrie will be available next week. So that'll be two guys in the rotation on the defensive front for us that could help. Uh, but we'll evaluate where we're at and what we need to do moving forward. And how surprising is this to you, though, that you've given up like I think it's 85 first downs in, in three games uh, coming into the season? I don't think you thought this was the kind of defense you had. But you never know. Like I was saying, coming into a season, you never know. So, you know, you only go against each other. So, you know, now we, we, we have an idea what direction we're headed. Uh, we, we know where issues, possible issues are and areas we got to get better, and we got to go improve those areas. Bianchi. Yeah, Dan, it was hard to tell on TV, but how big a – how was the crowd a factor? And are you saying 90 – you want to see 90,000? I absolutely want to see 90,000 in the Swamp last year. I, I, there were – I don't think the section behind our bench, I didn't see an empty seat. It was packed. Uh, the entire student section, uh, it must have been 50,000 people behind our bench going crazy. So, uh, like, hopefully, like I said, hopefully that creates a home field advantage for us next week because now we've passed a law in our state that we can do that. And I want to see like our students out there cheering on and give us that home field advantage. One last thing. You said this is going to be a unique year, obviously, because of the pandemic, but also because of the scheduling. Is that what you're talking about? There's no there's no breaks, really. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you're playing 10 SEC games, you know, uh, in a row. So it's, it's like I told our guys, it's going to be a very different game. I mean, you got to get over this one quick. We're more like an NFL schedule this year. You know, you got to get over this one quick and get ready to go again next week. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll get over this one. We'll start. We'll get that corrected on the flight home tonight. Get a lot of things done tonight. Some work done tonight, and get on to LSU and uh, uh, move forward to that game now. Thanks, Matt Baker. Hey Dan, uh, they were 12 and 15 on third down. That that was obviously an issue last week as well. What is there any kind of commonalities? Anything you can point to on that? Yeah, we got to make plays and get off the field. Uh, last year, last week, they, they were 6 of 15 on third down. Thanks. So they weren't very similar. Goldie. Yeah, Dan, I'm curious. Do you have any idea what's going on in the secondary in terms of coverage issues? It seems like 
seems like that's kind of three weeks in a row where you know the opponents had guys running wide open. Yeah, we got to be better there. Casties. Hey Dan, you you mentioned making some personnel changes. Do you anticipate that happening? right away or, or how well, much leash do the coaches and the guys have here to we'll, we're going to evaluate things so i'm going to make sure we have we're putting everybody in the uh, the right position to make plays thank you all right thanks coach thank you guys